Hey guys, today I am fed up and I am joining a Subaru group. Let's get into it. Okay, so as many of you have seen in one of my previous videos about all the issues I've been having with just trying to get my Chevy Colorado off-road, uh, I've run into two problems. One is I can take it down some gravel roads that offer me no challenge whatsoever, or I can go on these extreme off-road routes down in Vinton County, which not only will mess up my paint job, but it will also ruin the whole underside of my truck because there's absolutely no skid plate protection down there and there's just not enough ground clearance and I don't have big enough tires. So my dilemma has been, where can I take my stock Chevy Colorado to go off-roading? And I've been hitting a wall here lately, and after a lot of time had gone by, I finally just sat down and thought about this. And for years, I've been enjoying watching all these Subaru videos on YouTube, watching Donald from Soft Roading the West and also 4 Expedition, which both provide awesome Subaru content. So it finally dawned on me to say, hey, you know what? If I cannot find a good off-roading club for Jeeps or my Chevy Colorado, then why don't I go ahead and just look at getting into a Subaru group? Because when you really look at the physics of the vehicles, my stock Chevy Colorado and my stock Jeep Cherokee XJ have roughly the same ground clearance, breakover angles, approach angle, and also departure angles. So I went on Facebook and started looking around. I found some local Subaru clubs right here in Ohio and I reached out to them. I explained to them, hey, look, I do not have a Subaru, but I really like Subarus, which I do. And I'd really like to just join you guys for some ride rounds wherever you end up riding here in Ohio. Because I was positive that they did more than just gravel roads, but at the same time, they were not doing these extreme off-road routes that I've been watching other groups do here in Ohio. So. I reached out to them, I told them my situation, and I was really pleasantly surprised because they were very friendly and very open to my idea of joining their group and coming out for a group ride. So they let me join their Facebook groups. And so I finally got a chance to get out with these guys. I went out the first time with my Jeep Cherokee XJ. And let me tell you, I had a blast. As you'll see in this upcoming video here, the routes and trails that they chose were just challenging enough for the Jeep, but not overly challenging where it was gonna cause damage. Uh, a lot of these guys in the trail ride were in stock Subarus, so they weren't expected to do anything extreme off-road, which was great. Um, and so I just had a real pleasant experience with these guys. They didn't try to trick me and say, yes, this is something for a beginner or novice rider that you can come out and learn the ropes of off-roading. And then once you get there, you find vehicles getting major trail damage and being flipped over. In fact, I found it very ironic. One of the other Facebook groups that I belong to that offer these novice beginner trail rides were out on the same trails that we were that same day, although they were just getting set up. And as you can see, as I'm driving by here in this video, these were not beginner rigs. These were not novice riders. These were experienced riders. Some of these guys had trailered in their rigs. Uh, these were highly modified. And later that weekend, I did in fact go back to their Facebook pages to see how their beginner ride went. And sure enough, uh, again, major trail damage, uh, trails that my Jeep would not have made it on because the ruts and the approach angles, the breakover angles, etc., were just too extreme for what my Jeep was capable of in its current form. So, uh, again, I, I find it very disingenuous of these groups to say that they are beginner rides when obviously these guys are going out there with extreme mudding and extreme off-roading in mind. So, um, you know, I guess if you're a beginner with a six inch lift, 37 inch tires, and you have major trail damage already to your rig, I guess you can be a beginner out here in one of these rides. But for me, I was really happy that I stuck with the Subaru group because they were respectful to not only me, but to the vehicle that I was driving. Uh, 
The guy who led the Subaru ride was super cool. His name's Roddy. He owns a bike shop and he had done a lot of custom work to his Crosstrek and it was just super cool. In fact, I'm going to provide a link right here to the walk around video that I'm going to do for his Crosstrek Subaru. It's just really cool vehicle, a lot of custom work. And, you know, if I ever end up buying a Subaru, I want it to look just like his. So really happy with the way he ran that group and that trail ride that we were on that day. We had a super fun time. Uh, the only thing was, I guess, because they had all wheel drive Subarus, they were flying down these back roads and I was having a little hard time keeping up. But believe me, that was a lot better than me trying to manage some ruts or some ditches or some shelf climbs that only a vehicle with 35 or 37 inch tires can be capable of doing. So again, had a great time with them and I am looking forward to going out again with them the next time. So if you are a big Subaru fan and you really want to see this trail ride that I went on, I'm going to provide the link right here, right at the top of the screen. And you can click on that and go directly to the Subaru trail ride that we went on. And you can see all the high points of this day that we had and we had a blast. So if you have any comments or questions about me joining a Subaru group and my experiences off-roading so far with my stock Chevy Colorado or my stock Jeep Cherokee XJ, be sure and leave that down in the comments below. And if you've really enjoyed this content, I would just really appreciate you give me a big thumbs up and let me know that you enjoyed the content. Thanks so much and we'll see you out on the trail.